uh, the decision in uh, Buenafe versus Marcos Jr. has been served. And I have the decision here with me. We will be giving you copies of the decision after this briefing. Uh, the decision by the second division was uh, promulgated January 17 and has already been served. So this is now for distribution to the public. Now, uh, uh, can we mute everyone, please? Thank you. <clears throat> so uh, it's a long decision. It's uh, 32 pages with a separate opinion uh, from Commissioner Antonio Po. The ponente of the main decision is uh, Commissioner Socorro Inting, right? Commissioner Socorro Inting. Uh, this is the signature page. Okay. As you can see, uh, the ponente is Socorro Inting. There's a separate opinion from Antonio Co. And Commissioner Ray Gulay has already participated. All right. Uh, I wanted to read only the dispositive portion, but since there is no dispositive portion as such, no separate dispositive portion since, uh, since the disposal of each uh, issue is... Uh, throughout the entire uh, decision and since I will be giving you a copy of the decision anyway allow me to just summarize some of the main points number one the petition filed by Buena Fe et al uh, merits summar summary dismissal um, according to the decision of the second division, uh, the petition alleged. Can can we mute everyone? Everyone, please. Yes, sir. Sir, can we uh, open the lapel microphone again? Open your mic, na lang po sir. All right. Okay. So the petition merits summary dismissal. According to the second division, the petition uh, that was uh, the, the petition filed by Buenafe et al. actually contained uh, grounds for disqualification. Now, under the rules, a petition for the cancellation of a COC based on material misrepresentation can allege no other ground. But in this case, they alleged material misrepresentation as well as alleging grounds for disqualification, which under the rules would have merited summary dismissal. So uh, the second division notes that this case could have been dismissed summarily on that ground alone. However, uh, the, the division decided to forego that particular, uh, that particular rule and decided to simply tackle the issues to settle the matter once and for all. Second, uh, the respondent's material representation is not false. The, the division uh, had opportunity to discuss what the term material representation means, and it defined the term material representation following Supreme Court jurisprudence as uh, something that affects the eligibility of a candidate to run. In this case, in this case, the division returned to the decision of the Court of Appeals to determine whether or not a material misrepresentation was actually made. And the division noted the following. First, the CA decision uh, on, on, the, on, the, on the tax case of a uh, of Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Uh, Jr. did not contain any disqualification, right? So first, did not contain any disqualification. Second, the second division ruled that uh, the National Internal Revenue Code of 1994 
did not apply to the case because it would have uh, that would have resulted in a retroactive application since uh, the NIRC of 1994 uh, took effect only 1986, whereas the cases involved uh, in, in this case were, nine, were 82, 83, and 84. So for this reason, when respondent Marcos Jr. Uh, checked the item on the COC saying that he had that he could he has no eligible no no disqualifications that it was not a misrepresentation. The division further found that there was no deliberate attempt to mislead. Uh, there was no deliberate attempt to mislead the commission uh, contrary to the allegations of the respondents. Uh, the division likewise noted that failure to file an income tax return is not a crime involving moral turpitude. All right. So those are the main points of the of the decision of the second division. Uh, we will make this available to you today. Okay. Uh, I do have the printed copy already. But I will make available to you the soft copy as well. So you'll be able to read it immediately. Uh, the hard copy, if anyone wants it, please just inform the COMELEC, uh, the EID staff uh, at the press room. Okay. Um, moving on to other matters. Uh, we are now waiting on the final ballot phase. Please stay tuned. We might make that announcement later today. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? Okay. No questions? Ah, okay. Uh, Mikhail. Go ahead. Hi. Director James, what's the status of the cases pending with the first division, the three consolidated ones? We're still waiting on those decisions. So no no word yet. Are we expecting a, a decision to be announced today or not? Um, I really can't say. I'm waiting for word from Commissioner Guanzon. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So we have another Hello. from Ms. Melissa. Hi, sir. Uh, actually, I just also wanted to follow up on the... Um, on the first, first division, but yeah, I guess. Um, sir, yung dun sa ballot phase. So if the ballot phase oh. comes out today, not necessarily naman na printing also right after, no? Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, the ballot phase has come out today. After that, we will announce uh, the start of the schedule of printing because we have to walk through NPO before we start printing. Okay? We have mm, to we so have show... Kasabay siya, Bauna mo na yung walk through. Right. And then after that, uh after that ballot printing starts um when when ballot printing starts we will not be able to go inside the the printing area we will only be uh, confined to the observation area so um i we've insisted that we hold the walkthrough before we actually start ballot run okay are there in a week expected period ng printing um we'll we'll have to find out First, what the uh, what the maximum running capacity of the machines are, we will find that out within the day of the start of printing. All right, okay. thank you, sir. So we will we will give you the timetables then. Okay, Tina. Sir, we have Miss Tina po from GMA. Miss Tina, go ahead po. Hi, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Itong division. Good good morning po. Sir, itong position po ng division. Is this unanimous and how many days do the petitioners have to appeal? Itong second division? Ito? Yes, sir. Cancel uh, COC. This is unanimous in the result. Uh, there is a separate opinion from uh, Commissioner Antonio Co. Yes, but in, in the result, it's unanimous. Uh, how many and days to appeal? Uh, normally, five days to appeal. All right, sir. And then um, once the ruling of the end bank comes out, the decision is final as far as the public is concerned. Correct, po? That is correct. All right. Thank you, sir. That's it for me. All right. 
So we have another from Miss uh, Ina, from Ina of uh, EBS. Ms. Go ahead. Ina. Yes, Director, some of the questions were already answered, sir. I just would like to clarify one point, Director. When you say po that the um, representations made were material but not false, um, what is the difference there for a layman, po, Director, between materiality okay. and falsity? Uh -oh. ang, ang, ang issue kasi nung, ano, nung petitioner is that uh, nagkaroon ng false uh, misrepresentation. Ano? Nagkaroon, ibig sabihin, ng... Uh, Essentially, essentially, na mislead yung yung commission into believing na eligible or karapat dapat na makatakbo yung kandidato. In, in this case, Marcos Jr. Uh, so yun yung yun yung nature ng sinasabing misrepresentation. Uh, ang sinasabi dito, ang ginawa nitong decision ng second division is number one, clarify niya kung anong ibig sabihin ng material representation, di ba? Kasi maraming laman yung COC. Eh. Yung COC maraming nilalaman yan. May age dyan, may, uh, may, may uh, pangalan, buong pangalan mo, etc. And isa dyan sa mga tanong dyan is, a, is a question number 22 that says that I have not been, uh, 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 I have not been convicted of, uh, of a crime. Wait, let me read the actual, the actual words of, of that uh, particular item. But basically, what happened was, so nilinaw kung ano ang tinatawag na material representation, and then, once masettle natin kung ano ang definition ng material representation, ang tanong na susunod is, mali ba yung sinabi ng kandidato? No? Ibig sabihin, nagsinungaling ba essentially yung kandidato nung sinabi niya na wala siyang, wala siyang disqualification? Uh, so yun. So yun yung material na misrepresentation na sinasabi. No? Material means importante kasi uh, nagdi-define siya kung whether or not ikaw ay eligible. And then misrepresentation, totoo ba o hindi yung sinabi mo. So yun yun. Okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. I left the Zoom room. Uh, nawala ako. And okay. I just got back. I, I apologize, Director. Um, okay. Just quite briefly lang one line, Director. I really just got back in, sir. Sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, when, we're, when we're talking about the material misrepresentation, ang, ang tinutukoy natin, yung sinabi sa COC that he is eligible for the position of president and that he has not been meted the penalty of perpetual disqualification from public office. Basically, yun ang sinabi ng kandidato. Ngayon, yun yung sina-challenge ng petitioner. Sabi ng petitioner, hindi, hindi totoo yan kasi hindi ka eligible kasi disqualified ka. So yun, yun yung representation na sinasabi at yun yung false uh, representation na tinutukoy. But uh, in this case, sabi ng uh, division, uh, walang naging false misrepresentation kasi, number one, hindi naman talaga disqualified and number two, dahil hindi talaga disqualified, tama yung sinabi niya doon sa COC na hindi pa siya nadi-disqualified. Therefore, Director, what the second division is essentially saying, mahalaga po na makita doon mismo sa ruling na in ng Court of Appeals doon sa right. positive portion na talagang perpetual disqualified. It cannot be something that is assumed but rather something that should be explicitly stated in the ruling, Director? Absolutely. No? Hindi ka pwede mag-interpret, hindi ka pwede mag-speculate uh, mag, uh, or mag-extrapolate mag, no? mag, mag ng, ng, ng penalty na hindi nag exist In this case, Sabi nga ng Cortes, sabi nga ng division, sabi niya, wala naman tayong karapatan mag-review ng ano, ng decision ng CA, syempre mas mataas na body yan, pero kailangan natin malaman kung ano exactly ang sinabi ng CA. Kasi yun ang magiging basehan kung talaga nga bang nagkaroon ng material misrepresentation. And ayon doon sa analysis ng sinulat doon sa dispositive portion ng, ng Court of Appeals, walang nakalagay na disqualification doon. So, walang disqualification. Director, just to clarify on the 
consolidated petitions before the first division, sir. Has there been a deliberation already? Is there a draft already? Or are we still doing the process so that the commissioners have yet to deliberate on it or are still deliberating? Therefore, there is no draft. Res um, no, sorry, I'm sorry. Um, therefore, um, they will have to vote still on the consolidated petitions. So as far as I know, when, when we say it's been submitted for resolution, um, you're really just waiting for the final decision to be written. Uh, as far as I know, nagkaroon na ng consultation, nag-usap na yan sila, and we're just waiting for the decision to be written. So is it confirmed, Director, that one of the reasons for the delay is because one of the staff of the author, if I'm not mistaken, contracted COVID-19? And how will that affect now the promulgation of the ruling? What is the timeline that we're now looking at, if indeed that is confirmed for Director James? Uh, I, I cannot speak to the impact of uh, of staff having COVID. Um, at, at this point, all I really know is that uh, there, there is nothing to promulgate. Um, so I'm waiting for word from the first division, uh, particularly the presiding officer of the first division. Uh, sure, you're on mute, I think. They're sure. original. Well, I'm I'm okay. I'm not muted. But uh, can you hear me now? Okay, now. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, the email sir. Is... Uh, anyway. That's reasonable. Very good. Uh -oh. Can we move on to the next question? Balikan natin si Ina later. Yes, sir. So for the next question is um Ron. Ron, are you still in the Zoom room? Hi, Director James. Good morning. So Good morning. I just clarify ko lang po yung mga cases natin ngayon. So we have seven pending cases. Again. Labas uh, na ako niyan ng isang araw, ah. Hindi. Labas na ako niyan ng isang araw, Ron. Meron kasi, sir, uh, confusion dun sa kung na-decide na ba yung kay uh, Tibosio, Marcos? Um, I, I don't have a copy of that decision yet. As far as I know, uh, it has been settled, but again, I cannot I cannot validate that because there's no paper uh, in front of me right now. So we'll have to keep on updating that to find out. Hmm. So officially, uh, Director, how many cases have been disqualified? So far that I have record of, uh, I think this brings it to two. We know that the kay Danilo Lihay Lihay, Buena Fe, the others have been consolidated. One was one was withdrawn. Itagan was withdrawn. So I think yeah, two palang on my final decision. Mm, and so how many cases were are still pending? Five left. In seven Looks like five. Looks like five left, except that three, one nine four, uh, twenty three, I think, and twenty four, um, have been consolidated into one case. So ilan na lang yan. We'll update the matrix. We'll update the matrix, uh, Ron. Don't worry. Okay. So, Dalawako for second division, and we still have two consolidated yeah. petitions in the first division. That's right. Okay. Thank you, Director. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, Miss Ina, go ahead. Director, thank you very much for the indulgence. Sir, since you're being live streamed, sir, tanong ko lang po on behalf of the public listening in and watching right now, ano pong impact nitong ganito po na may nauna na ruling ang isang division, may pending pa tayong inaasahan sa ibang division, and considering na magkaiba din po ito ang causes of action, yung isa dito disqualification consolidated, yung isa dito cancellation, at meron pa rin iba na nakabinbin pa po, sir. Well, um, alam mo, marami kasing kasong final, eh, di ba? Uh, kung nga nabanggit natin kanina, uh, more than five cases have been filed, definitely, isa-isang uh, i-dispose yan. No? Uh, medyo mahirap mag-speculate kung anong nangyayari dun sa ibang kaso uh, on the basis of one decision. So, ang, gagawin, ang pinakamagandang gawin natin is hintayin natin lumabas bawat decision and then we will discuss it as they come up. 
And just to clarify, sir, if these cases do not attain finality before the start of printing of ballots, his name will still be included in the ballot, right, Director? Yes, the name will still be on the ballot. Thank you very much, Director James. Thank you. Okay. Sir James, Next we have question. questions from our, inside our chat box. Sir, from Hannah Bourdais of Germany News Online. Ang dami ko nakikita ang nakataas na kamay. Tapos yes, nakakyo na, na po sila, sir. Uh, to put on record lang po, may we know the reason behind the postponement of the release of the decision po na First Division. Then as another question, sir, from Sir Samuel uh, um, Medinilla of Business Mirror. First question po ni Sir Sam. Uh, may issues sa na raise po ang COMELEC sa NPO during the 2019 polls for allegedly outsourcing hey, the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Other matters na yan. Let's stick with the cases muna. Uh, the first question, as to the promulgation of the decision of the first division, wala pa akong official word na postponed. So, we'll have to wait on that. No? Alamin natin kung, kung bakit tayo nadidelay na konti. Alright? Uh, the second question was what? Sir, other, 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 matter, so, other matter. Sir, we have uh, Dwight of uh, Rappler. Dwight, go okay. ahead. Hi, sir. Good morning. Good sir, morning. Um, first, can we get sir, an updated projected timeline, at least dito sa Buena Fe Petition? When this reaches the end bank, uh, how long what would mean, it take before mean, they timeline? come out with a resolution? Po? I'm sorry. What do you mean timeline for Buena Fe? Na out na natin, di ba? What do you mean? Sorry, sir. You can, you can, sorry, hindi ko po narinig. Sir, ano mong sagot niyo, sir? Oo. Sorry, sorry din, Dwight. Um, Na-out na yung decision ng Buena Fe. What timeline are you asking about? I mean, sir, about sa, sa end bank level, sir. How long would it take for them to come out with... Sorry. How long would it take for them to come out with the decision? Well, that depends on whether or not an appeal is filed. Uh, number one and number two, if an appeal is filed, I still cannot say kung gaano katagal aabutin ng end bank, no? Um, just like dito, hindi natin alam kung gaano katagal aabutin ito when it was originally submitted for resolution. Sorry. Okay, sir. And sir, uh, balik lang po ako dun sa ballot phase. Uh, I'm not sure if this was answered, but there was there a reason? Was there a reason po why uh, na delay po yung pag-release ng ballot phase natin ulit? Ah, well, um, we're other matters na rin to, ha, but since nandito na tayo, um, we're actually waiting for it to be released today. Okay? Uh, hindi naman tayo nagbigay ng time for the release of the ballot phases, but we are still waiting for it today. As far as I know, uh, there, are, there are certain types of ballot phases that have already been cleared. Um, again, we're looking to make that announcement within the day as well. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dwight. So we have um, Mikhail of AFP. Uh, Mikhail, go ahead. Uh, Sir James, uh, I just wanted to clarify on the actual number of pending cases. Because you said, I think in January 4 or 5, that the Tiburcio Marcos case has been... Yeah, uh, I know. I did that. But, but I don't have the paper for that yet, actually. I don't have the decision on the Tiburcio case. Uh, and I don't have an update on the Tiburcio case. So... Uh, we'll have to update, we'll have to correct and update the matrix that we gave you, which we gave you last time, no? Uh, last week, last week's briefing was followed by the matrix for the cases. So please so, refer to that. Okay, so is it pending or resolved or or what? Because we're, we're, we're keeping count of the of the pending case, so we just... Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I understand what you're doing. Uh, we'll we'll provide you a, a more recent update, no? The most late, the latest update. Uh, we'll have to clarify certain things about that as well. Okay, sir. So no, it's uh, officially from Comelec. Are there so there are five pending cases, tama po ba? Including yes, the official. Okay. Divides in the matrix na that's official Comelec utterance. You can use that as a guide. Okay, we just wanted to clarify kasi yung All right. on the Tiburcio one is a bit yeah. confusing. So five, five pending cases. Tama, sir? Five? Yes, it's in the matrix. Okay, thank you, sir. Another question po from uh, Greg of TV5. 
Uh, how does this uh, second division ruling affect the pending cases in first division, considering that it has also ruled on some of the matters which are grounds, which grounds mentioned in the pending uh, disqualification cases, such as the in question provision for perpetual disqualification following the tax conviction and the promulgation of the amended NIRC of 1986. It's a, it's a, it has no impact, Greg. Uh, each division will come to their own decision. So um, I, I cannot say that uh, the decision of one division will impact how another division decides. So he will again, he will again issue it. Okay. So another question from uh, Dwight from the inbox po. Um, if Marcos is DQ'd at the end bank level after the printing of ballots, but before the May 9 uh, election, what will happen to the votes cast for him? If a candidate is disqualified, if, if a candidate is disqualified uh, before the elections, but after the ballots have been printed, obviously the name remains on the ballot. And any vote garnered by that name on the ballot will be considered straight. Thank you, sir. So far, sir, nobody's uh, raising their hands for questions. No questions for inbox, no questions from Viber, sir. Okay, so again, we'll update the matrix uh, on, on Marcos cases uh, within the day. And uh, if, in, if there's any need to announce the uh, any other announcement, Right, including promulgations, if, if those are still online, uh, if uh, we're able to release the official uh, ballot faces, uh, all of these will be announced today. All right, thank sorry, you. Very sir, much. Sir, no humabol. Humabol. Sorry, sir, no pwedeng Sir, Karen, Karen, Sir Reuter. I'll go, Karen. Sir, hope you feel better, Asajin. Sir, just a question on the DQ, because I'm lang ako. Di ba kung ma DQ siya with final judgment? Can may alam ko ba sir yung substitution yung nababanggit sa law yung pwede ka mapalit by yes, sa kapareho mo ng kapangalan yung papalit sa iyo so when is that allowed right. sir in this case uh, kasi pag COC bawal mag substitution uh, and but if ma DQ siya halimbawa and then uh, ma final yung the judgment will be finalized that means supreme court ano so he substitution is allowed yun sir can, can you just explain how, how does that work thank you thank you <laughs> If a candidate is disqualified with finality, then that amounts to an involuntary withdrawal. If the candidate is filing under a political party, then the right of substitution applies, which means that the candidate who was disqualified and therefore involuntarily withdrawn will be able to be substituted by a person with the same surname. Okay? The substitution can be made up to midday of election day. At that point, a COC can be filed with the Board of Election Inspectors uh, to, to uh, show that uh, the substitution has been made. Right? So that applies to this case, right, sir? Halimbawa lang kung ma-given yung course ng case, that applies to this particular case? It will apply to this case. Okay. Uh, supposing to fall up that way. Yes. Okay. Let's sir, may pahapon ka po. Sir Dante po. Go ahead, Sir Dante. Dante. Hi, Hello. Sir Jay. Yes. Hindi ko maka-open. Hello, Sir. Sir, clarification lang din po, uh, Sir James. Uh, Kumbaga, hypothetical question din naman yung itong akit. Pagka uh, anak to prejudge yung uh, decision po ng first division, if ma-disqualify po si BBM, ang uh, question din po kasi ito ng marami, Sir James, kung pwede ba siyang palitan either ni Amy, yung kanyang uh, sister, at ng kanyang asawa na si uh, Araneta po, Sir James? Basta ka-apelido, Dante. Basta ka-apelido. So, kunwari, uh, si, si Amy Marcos, technically, yes. Siyempre, mag Marcos din yan eh, no? Uh, yung Lisa Araneta Marcos, uh, who is married to uh, to Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Again, technically, pwede rin. Kaapilido rin eh. Diba? Uh, so, yan yung, yan yung requirement natin. Uh, just para lang mabuo yung information natin, hindi kailangan kapamilya, Dante. Ha? Hindi kailangan kapamilya. 
Ka- kailangan lang kaapilito. Okay. Uh, uh, there's another question here. Uh, I'll just read it kasi relevant siya. Should the substitute be a member of the party? It, the, the, the rules don't say. The rules only say kaapilito. Same surname. Okay. Uh, isa na lang po, Sir James. Uh, very right. quick lang po. Uh, po. Uh, kasama ba doon sa decision po ng uh, second division na uh, yung gaya ng nabanggit niyo noong nakaraan na only the Supreme Court can say na mayroong moral purpose. Thank you. Yes, yes, it's there. Uh, in the final, in one of the final points of the division's decision, uh, the division made it clear, to, made, it, uh, made it a point to say that uh, the offense of failure to file income tax is not a uh, crime involving moral turpitude that only the Supreme Court can determine which crimes involve moral turpitude. Thank you, Sir James. Okay. Sir, another pahabol question po from Ms. Ina. Then we have go three others po. Ina, go ahead. Uh, mukha po atang naka-free si Ms. Ina. We have Sam, Sir Sam. Sir Sam, go ahead po. Okay. Sir Sam? Wala rin po si Sir Sam. Uh, we have Dwight. Go ahead for your follow-up question. Ano lang, sir? Clarification lang ulit and for soundbite lang, sir. Uh, if Marcos wins the presidency but is disqualified after pa po ng May polls, uh, who will take over uh, the second po ba in the presidential race or the new uh, VP elect? Thank you, sir. Um... Obviously, Dwight, if that happens, no, there will be there will be cases filed about that. But uh, from what I understand of the law that applies right now, um, this that particular set of circumstances will lead to the vice president succeeding. Okay, not not the second placer. Because okay. na na eh, na disqualify lang, uh, which means that uh, valid naman yung election disqualified lang yung candidate. So under those circumstances, um, I believe that the resolution would be uh, for the law of succession to to um, activate and therefore it's the sitting vice president that will succeed. Mm-hmm. And sir, finally, uh, dun sa um, Monsod petition, yung sa Ilocano group, uh, dahil po nag-submit or deadline ng submission of the memoranda today, is it safe to say na deemed for resolution na siya or submitted for resolution? Once na submit na yung mga required memoranda, then yes, it will be then uh, deemed submitted for resolution. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, we have uh, Mikhail. Mikhail, go ahead. Uh, sir, pa soundbite lang din uh, for no one thing, especially for foreign readers who are not closely following the case. Now that the second division has rejected the uh, petition against Mr. Marcos, what does this actually mean to his uh, candidacy? Well, it, just, it just means that uh, one of the many challenges to his candidacy has been resolved. Um, but there are other challenges still pending. So in terms of uh, his uh, whole candidacy, we'll have to find out how those things turn out. But right now, uh, this is one challenge down. Okay. Thank you, sir. Sir, lastly po, we have Miss Ina. Miss Ina, go ahead. Quick lang ito, sir. I missed lang yung part dun sa question earlier, sir. If ma-disqualify, pwede ma-substitute ang kailangan po ba party mate? Sorry, putol-putol ka, Ina. Hindi ka naiintindihan yung question. If ever Can ma-disqualify... type the question? I did, sir. I did na. Uh, so the question is, uh, ano na yung question ni Miss Ina? Um, kung kailangan daw po bang kapartido yung magsasubstitute? If uh, ever. Sorry. Yan po. Sir, another question po from Miss Hannah Borde of uh, GMA Newsline. In case the bank denies the motion for reconsideration filed by the group of Father Benefe, can they still appeal this before Supreme Court? Yes, yes. Decisions of the Comelec are appealable to the Supreme Court. So far, sir, wala na pong question sa ating uh, inbox, pati na rin okay. po sa Fiverr. Yung, yung question on NPO, 
yung question on NPO. Okay. From, that's from Sir Sam of, of uh, wait lang sir, I'll just scroll up for a while. There were two questions, sir. One is, my issues na na-raise ang COMELEC sa NPO during the 2019 polls for allegedly as uh, outsourcing the printing of election materials. Was this resolved po and sila po ba ulit ang magpiprint ng balsa for 2022 polls? Then the second question, sir, is, on schedule pa din po kaya ang preparations ng COMELEC if the printing of ballots will not start today? Uh, number one, yes, NPO pa rin ang magpiprint because uh, under the under the rules, dalawa lang ang pwede magprint, uh, BSP and NPO. And uh, BSP has always taken a pass. No, uh, Their printers are for printing money. So, NPO pa rin tayo. Uh, second question is, um, are we still on track? Yes, we are. Uh, we're still within the the, uh, the the allowances that we've built into our schedules. So, pasok pa tayo. So, sorry na po ang ating last question. No more uh, raised hands. So, okay. I think ito na po questions. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll follow up with you guys uh throughout the day and ano kailangan niyo ng soft copy or or hard copy na lang just let us know what your preferences are but anyway i'll, I'll be posting the soft copy uh sa viber group all right thank you very much thank you sir thank you, sir. EID, thank you. Thank you. afternoon po